Hello YouTube, it's GoPronopper, and today I'm going to talk to you about my 12th camera haul. Um, I don't have as much stuff out here as I normally do, and that's because I was really excited to review some of the stuff that I got. So I'm going to be going in the order of which I purchased the items, and that means starting with this. This is a Bell & Howell Dial 35. Um, half frame 35 millimeter camera. Um, mine is in pretty good condition. I picked it up for 15 bucks and uh, I'll just show you that the shutter works real quick. So you can see that the shutter is working fine. Uh, it does have to have film in it to work properly and uh, it's a neat little camera zone focusing unfortunately but that's the only complaint I have so I got it for 15 bucks at an antique mall which isn't bad for one of these uh, they originally wanted 25 again called the vendor so for these next three items I purchased them all on the same day and I'll go in the order which I got them the first two I bought from the same store This is a Zeiss Icon Contessa folding 35mm rangefinder camera. Mine's in really excellent condition, both functionally and operationally. As you can see, the shutter release is stuck because the camera has to have film in it to fire. I purchased this for $10 from the same camera store I got my Zeiss Icon contacts. They assumed that this one was broken too because they couldn't fire the shutter even after cocking it, but they didn't realize that there has to be film inside the camera, and they sold it to me for 10 bucks. From the same camera store, for $10, I purchased this. This is a Braun FD mount auto wide 28mm f2.8 lens. This one is also in good condition. Um, I purchased it with the assurance that it was 100% operational and came with the body and lens caps. So I got a good deal on this one too. So next up, after I went to the camera store, I stopped at my local Goodwill. Um, really no interesting cameras, but they did have this inside the display case. They originally wanted 15 bucks for it. I got it for 10 This is a MC Rockor um, PF 135mm f2.8 lens. in really good condition too. Everything on it's really nice and clean. There's nothing wrong with the optics. It's all around a great lens. And I picked it up for 10 bucks, which is obviously a great price. This will fit well with the rest of my Minolta camera systems, which include the XG1 and SRT101. I know the case is really bad. I'm mostly just keeping it for the purposes of showing you that I got the case and because it's a part of the video. Next up, that weekend, I stopped at an antique mall and no really great cameras for good prices. They did have a Yashica D for 120 bucks in minty condition, but I'm not ready to pay that much. I picked up this bag of Veracrome safety film for 12 bucks. Some of them are exposed, some of them aren't. And the ones that are exposed, um, if I get some darkroom equipment, I'm going to develop them and see what's on there. I don't know how long that'll take. So then, of course, for the Thanksgiving festivities, a couple days later I stopped at my grandma's house and she had this waiting for me. Now, her friend, uh, her friend's brother, runs a thrift store, and this came in one day. They priced it at ten bucks, but she persuaded to him to let her have it for free to give to me so she gave it to my grandma and my grandma gave it to me 
Obviously, it's not in the greatest condition, but it's still totally functional. And I did check the bellows. There aren't any light leaks. It's a number one autographic Kodak Jr. And this one, surprisingly enough, 120 film. So I will be able to use it. But the leather covering has been stripped off most of the body and off of the bellows and the uh, folding foot is not working. So it's not in the greatest condition, but it's still a pretty neat camera. So now I went about three, four days without any new cameras, and then all of a sudden, boom! Um, one day I was tutoring my student at the end of the lesson. His father, when I went out to the car, he had some cameras waiting for me. These two. This is the case for this one here. This is a Falcon Miniature 127 film camera which is very very similar to my Falcon Deluxe miniature but it is slightly different in parts of its design and this one's in much much better condition this thing's just shining it's really nice my other one's it's okay but a Chicago style camera in really great condition and this was definitely my favorite see that logo up there this is a Zeiss Icon Coserette this is the 120 film model. And unusually enough, even though it's a, a roll film camera, it doesn't load through the back. The magazine doesn't remove the way it normally does. Oh, and also the front door is held in by the folding foot. You got this on the back. Twist it open and pop it off to reveal the lens. Yep, uh, it goes straight through the back of the camera. And that's because this camera is a side loader. Yep, it's weird, but it's pretty neat. I'm very, very excited to use this one because it's in much better condition than this and it's got a much better lens so I'm very happy with this camera I really like it alright so for my final purchase I purchased this one today the recording date it is Wednesday and I picked it up at a thrift store for fifteen dollars everyone knows what this is already but, I'll show it to you anyways. It's a Polaroid SX70 Alpha 1. Um, I don't think that the leather is actually... Well, the leather is missing, but I think they replaced it with like a brushed metal covering, which I think is actually kind of neat. I like the, the way that looks. I would have preferred the original leather, but for 15 bucks, SX70, that's awesome. Um, it's in fully functional condition. And I plan to use this one quite a bit. It's going to be a really difficult to show you inside the finder, but I'll give it my best shot. So yeah, really, really neat camera at a fantastic price. Got an interesting story. They are, they have a Canon AE-1 program in black that they've had for quite some time. The price tag on it is $69.99. It has been in there for more than a year and a half and they haven't sold it. I keep asking them, you know, will you come down on this? Will you come down on this? No, we don't negotiate. So, maybe someday. Anyways, um, that's it for this camera haul. I plan to do video reviews of the Contessa and the Coserette, but that's probably going to be about it. So, thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.